Hi, third grade. It's Mrs. D'Amico here. And today we're going to look at unit two, week one, day two. So it's our second day in unit two. Let's start off by doing our drill sounds warm up. Ready? A, apple, a. Ah. E, ed, a. Ah. I, itch, i. Eh. O, octopus, a. Ah. U, up, a. Ah. Q, U, queen, qua. D, dog, d. And P, pan, p. All right, let's do some of our digraphs. Um, C, H, chin, ch. T, C, H, catch, ch. S, H, ship, sh. A, L, L, ball, all. I N G ring ing. U N K junk unk. And last but not least, I moved my closed syllable exceptions way up there. Okay, let's look at those real quick. Ready? Just repeat, even if you can't see because of the glare. O L D cold old. And I L D wild eyeled. Good practice. Okay, third grade, I built my first word. This is my base word. Tap it out. Ready? Go. B, E, U, bell. And this is a bonus letter here. So this is the noun bell. How do I make bell plural? Right now it's singular. It's one bell. How do I make it more than one or plural? Remember what we talked about? Right. This one will add the suffix s to make bells. Okay, here's my next base word. It is g u a s glass. But if I wanted to make it plural, would I be using this suffix? No. Which one? Right, e s. So now my word is glass is glasses. Some of you might wear glasses for your vision. So remember, yesterday we went over the rule for adding an S or an ES to the end of a noun to make it plural. Okay, the newest word behind me is un, run. That's not a noun though, that's a what? Do you remember? What part of speech? It's an action verb, right. So you can actually add these suffixes to the ends of action verbs as well. Which one would we use here? Right, because it ends, our base word ends with an N, we can simply add the suffix S for runs. Great. Okay, the word behind me now is fix. This is also another action verb, right? Something that you can do. So if I wanted to add a suffix, look at my base word, it ends with an X. Am I going to add S or am I going to add ES? What do you think? Right, to make it fixes, we're adding ES. Okay, I have my next base word up there and the word, uses a bonus letter, right, is boss. So to make it plural, which suffix would I use? ES or S, what do you think? Right. Since it ends with an S, we add ES. Remember, our base word could end with an S, a Z, an X, a CH, an SH, or a TCH. And those are the endings that would require our ES suffix, right? So now we have bosses. Now, actually, this is a word that could be more than one part of speech. It's a multiple meaning word. So. Bosses could be people, that's a noun, right? People work for their bosses. Or could someone boss somebody around? That's something that you could do. Hopefully you don't do it, but yeah, the girl bosses kids around would be also an action verb too. So this one is both. Okay, now there are two kinds of suffixes that you should remember. We classify suffixes as vowel suffixes or consonant suffixes. So I'm going to start, we're going to have a lot of suffixes this year in third grade. 
And I'm going to start by making columns here on my board. If you add just S, this is a consonant suffix because it starts with a consonant. Whereas ES, I'm going to put over here, is a vowel suffix because it begins with a vowel. That's the difference. Consonant suffix, vowel suffix. Look at what letter they start with, and that'll help you with the name. Now I'm going to add two new suffixes onto our suffix frame board. This one first, I-N-G, and this one next, E-D. Now be thinking, are those vowel suffixes or consonant suffixes? Decide. Hopefully you were able to determine that both of these newer suffixes that I just added today are vowel suffixes because they both begin with a vowel. That's why they're in this column. Now hopefully you can remember the ing suffix here is added to the end of a verb to show that it's happening right now. Like, let me get you an example. Okay, the word up here is dust, dust. Now it could be a noun, dust is a thing that falls and covers furniture, or it could be a verb, an action. I often on the weekends to clean dust my living room. Okay, so the ing suffix can be added to show that I'm doing it now. I am dusting my house right? So that ing is added to the end of a verb to show it's happening right now. Here's my base word again, dust. If I add this suffix, ed, hmm, how does it change the word? Dust, dusted, right? Now it's not happening now. Now it happened in the past, right? ED is a suffix that gets added onto most verbs to show that it already happened in the past. Okay, here's a new verb up here. The verb is j -a -m -p, jump, right? So if I wanted to say right now I am jumping, I would add ing. And if I want to say I yesterday, I what? Right, jumped, E-D. Now, if you say that word, jumped, doesn't it kind of sound like a T? That's why a lot of young friends that don't know about suffixes would spell this word with a T because that's what they hear. Jumped, jumped. Yesterday, I jumped for exercise. But we know that it's just an E-D that might sound like a T when we read that word. Now, the suffix ed doesn't always sound like a t when it's attached to the end of a word. This base word is the verb fill, like I had to fill my water bottle up before gym class. If I wanted to put this in the past and say, yesterday I filled up my water bottle at school, I would again, since it already happened, attach my ed suffix. And it doesn't sound like a t this time, does it? Fill, filled, right. This time it sounds like an, a D, good. All right, third grade. Now we're going to get out your student notebooks and turn to page 30. That will take you to the spelling section for vowel suffixes. So if you remember, let me scooch this way, our vowel suffixes begin with a vowel. So these are the three vowel suffixes we have learned in third grade foundations so far. So when you're on page 30, I want you to think about the base word scratch. Say it, scratch. Now I have a three letter blend, sk -er. I have my short vowel, a. Ah. And then what do you think I need for ch? Don't forget these rules from unit one. Right, T-C-H, catch, ch, always goes immediately after a short vowel. So, scratch. What would I add? E-S or S? Right, scratch is. So we're actually going to add 
the word scratches on page 30 under the ES suffix. So go ahead and copy the spelling. And don't forget, boys and girls, when you're done spelling out the word scratches, we're going to underline the base word, circle the suffix. Make sure you do that when you spell it. So it should look like this on page 30. See my scratches? Good. Now I want you to look at the word we're going to write under the ing vowel suffix. It is lend, lending. Like, do you mind lending me a hand, giving me a hand? Or I am lending my book to my friend to let your friend borrow, right? We have lending. Don't forget to spell it correctly. Underline the base word, circle the suffix. Now we're going to move down on page 30 to the ed suffix. Remember, this puts it in past tense. It already happened when you add the ed suffix. Our word is blast, blasted. Say it, blasted. When you say it with this suffix, this time it sounds like id, right? Blasted, okay? Keep in mind, this sometimes sounds differently depending on which word you attach it to. Don't forget, underline the base word, circling the suffix. My next word to put under the ed suffix is this word, st -ack, stack. Notice the base word ends with ck digraph because it follows right after a short vowel. That's another rule we learned in unit one. So if I want to put it in past tense and say I stacked the blocks, here we go. My ed suffix is there. So stacked. Sometimes when you say that one in the past tense, it sounds like stacked with that T sound again. Remember we mentioned sometimes this suffix might sound like a T, but underline the base word, circle the suffix, and get ready for our last word to add to page 30. Okay, here it is. St all, stall is our base word. So if my engine stalled yesterday when it started, I add the ed suffix again, okay? This time, it doesn't sound like stalled, stalled. It doesn't sound like stalt. It sounds like stalled with a D, okay? So add that one on that same line. So my page 30 looks like this, okay? Notice how I had all three examples with that ed suffix in one row, and I put, put them next to each other there. Because remember, the ed sounds differently when you read the words, okay? Double check and make sure, are your base words underlined and are your suffixes circled? If so, you're doing great. Okay, I'm going to say a word, and you're going to repeat it. Then I'm going to ask for the base word. Are you ready? The first word is dresses. Say it. What's the base word for dresses? Right, it's dress. Good. Try this one. The next word, witches. Say it. What's the base word for witches? Witch. Correct. Try this one. Bucks. Say it. Bucks like a male deer is called a buck. Okay, what's the base word for bucks? Buck, right. Swinging, say it. Swinging, what's the base word for swinging? Swing, try this one. Folded, say it. What's the base word for folded? Fold, right, one more. Spelled, what's the base word for Spelled, spell, nice work. Next, boys and girls, you're going to, if you were in class today, we took out our letter tile boards. Okay, here they all are. And they're getting full, I know. And we added two new tiles. These are your suffix tiles. And I know they don't actually have all of the suffixes 
on them, but you will notice that your tiles should have either a V in the corner or a C in the corner. Hmm. If you've been listening closely to today's lesson, you should know that V stands for what kind of suffix? Right, a vowel suffix. So remember over here, vowel suffixes are in this column, whereas consonant suffixes with the C would start with a consonant. Very good. Okay, so if you aren't at school and you don't have your letter tile board, then I'm going to ask that you write this at home, okay, on a piece of paper and spell them, practice them. But if you're at school, you're going to use your board and I am going to use my cards that I have available. Okay, get ready to listen. The first word I want you to build or to spell is benches. Say it, benches. Now, first, what I want you to do is only build the base word. So if my word is benches, the base word is only bench. Build that part first, please bench. Okay, check behind me and see how you did with your spelling. Did you get the base word bench spelled correctly? Okay, now hopefully you picked ch and not tch because it doesn't follow a short vowel. All right, now if I want to make benches, what do I add? What suffix do I add to the end? It ends with ch, so which one? Right, es. Very good. If you were building in school, you would just attach the tile that says vowel, right? Because this is a vowel suffix. Okay, very good. Let's get ready for the next one. The next one I want you to build is the word pitches. Say it, pitches, like the pitcher pitches the ball 80 miles an hour, pitches. First, start with the base word, which is pitch, right? Get pitch down first. Okay, check behind me. How did you do? Did you remember to use our trigraph TCH because it follows a short vowel? Oh, hopefully. Now, to make the word pitches, what suffix are we adding? Right, if it ends with TCH, remember, it still ends the base word, even though it doesn't come at the very end of the word now because of our suffix. Okay, so it's still okay because it still ends the base word for pitches. All right, we'll do a couple more. The next word I would like you to build or spell is packs. Say it, packs, like my mom packs for the beach. So, only spell the base word first, which is pack, right? And then we'll add the suffix. Go ahead. Check your base word behind me. Pack. Did you remember CK is the digraph that follows a short vowel at the end of the base word? Okay. Now, which suffix? Look over here. Is it going to be a vowel suffix? or a consonant suffix. Hopefully you remember it's going to be an S. Pack, packs. Very good. So if you're using your letter tile board, you'll want to use the tile that has a C in the corner for consonant suffix. One more. The last word that I would like you to build or spell today is the word jumped. Say it, jumped. Now, tell me first, what's the base word of that word? Jump, right, so spell that part first and then we'll figure out the suffix. Go ahead. Okay, check your base word spelling behind me. Did you get J, U, and then this blend, M, P, jump? Okay, now be careful when it's jumped. I know it sounds like there's a T, but look at our suffixes. One of those will make it past tense. Yesterday, I jumped for recess. Right, ed is a vowel suffix. So if you're using your own letter tiles, you'll build it with the tile that has a V in the corner. Okay, 
very good third grade. Great practice today. I will see you again next time.